Okay, quick disclaimer. Previous vlog with Peyton. It's hard to let go of trauma. It really is because it's not like a scar on the skin, like a physical scar. It's inside. So you never forget these things. It's on your heart. It's on your mind. So if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already pretty much seen it. But yeah. A vibe. You got the wall to wall curtains. It's very rare that I will invite you to my house. That is very, very rare. Like, if I invite you to my house, that is a big deal. Um, but I did break a nail while we was in Zara. I cracked it in the middle, so I need to make one more stop before I go home and get some nail glue. Definitely go and check out that vlog if you haven't already. And, yeah, let's jump into this one and see what's going on. Hey guys, so um, I'm just sitting here doing a little bit of research. I'm looking at these gas prices. Last night it took $68 to fill my tank up. The week before that it took $70. I don't think gas prices is decreasing anytime soon. I, I think that it's going to either e increase or stay where it's at just because of the climate right now, what's going on in the world. Um, and it made me think like, okay, you, you guys know that I pre-ordered the new electric BMW. I had every intention on leasing it just because um, I feel like for me, I like to switch cars. I, I'm, I love cars um, and three years is long enough for me to have a car. But with the climate and everything that's going on in the world, it made me think like, damn, I mean, should I lease it? Should I go ahead and purchase it and finance it instead of leasing it since you know electric cars are ideal right now because gas prices are so high so with that being said i reached out to genius um you guys know that i have an albert debit card you know you don't have the overdraft fees and things like that and shout out to albert for sponsoring this uh video but you know it's not like a, tradi a traditional checking uh account you don't have the fees the monthly fees you don't have to wait on hold to talk to someone if you connect a qualifying direct deposit you get up to $150 when you sign up and they'll spot you onto your next payday so I really really like the Albert debit card but what I like most is they have geniuses that are give you advice on you know money managing decisions and, and things like that um i like to think that when it comes to my finances the more money that i make the more money that i save the more frugal i become so i, I want to say that i make really good financial decisions but in this particular situation i'm kind of like you know what do you think should i buy a car or should i lease it because like i said i had every intention on leasing it just because i'm probably gonna like this is a 2022 when a 2025 i4 comes out i'm probably gonna want the 2025 um that's just me because i like cars so what for me like what would be the best decision um and that's why i like this car not only that but you get cash back on your purchases um and i like to move money over in this checking account especially when i'm about to make like a really large purchase like if I go to Neiman's and want to buy some Tom Ford shoes, you know, those shoes range from, you know, anywhere from like 12 to $2,000. You don't typically get coupons on designer items, but you can get cash back if you use a card with qualifying cash back options. Um, and this, you can get anywhere from 5% to 20% cash back. So 
it's almost like getting a discount i highly recommend this card you guys highly highly recommend it i love the fact that i could just text a genius and ask them a question that i'm about to make you know regarding a financial decision and they respond back super quickly i don't have to call i hate calling now like i hate calling anywhere especially banks so i don't have to wait on hold i don't have to talk to a freaking computer it's just it's just so much more convenient so if you guys want to sign up i highly recommend it. you can click the link in my description box download the app and if you connect a qualifying direct deposit you can get 150 dollars when you sign up don't, don't say i ain't put y'all on now because i i'm trying to help no i i try to help us with the app because i want us all to be millionaires and just live financially free don't you? You don't know Working on the weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us. And a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. Wine by the glass, man, a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth. Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell a shit, it is what it is But said what I had to and did what I did I Never turn my back on FBG, God forbid Virgil got a paddock on my wrist Doing front flips, giving you my number But don't hit me on no dumb shit Working on the weekend like usual Way off in the deep end like usual Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hits a block up, I tell you if it was us And a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush Say my day's a number, but I keep waking up Oh, you see my text, baby, please say something Wine by the glass, you're in a cheapskate, huh? Niggas gotta move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clothes I don't even know what that's about, watch your mouth Baby, got an ego twice the size of the crib I can never tell a shit, it is what it is Good morning. If you are new here and this is your first time viewing, I hope that you stick around and become a subscriber. I call my subscribers PayPal. So if you ever see it in the title or in the comment section, that's what we're talking about because I call my subscribers PayPals. It's kind of like pen pals because we write, we, we write to each other and that's how we really talk to each other. But instead of pen, it's pay. Um, I feel like that was pretty catchy. Um, I don't even know what made me think of it, but like, I don't know. I look at a lot of y'all as friends, you know, like pals, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I have become friends with a lot of my pay pals, um, people that I've, you know, met and then like we, you know, we generally keep up a, a friendship and things like that. But yeah, um, I hope you guys stick around. So, um, we're getting ready to go on a trip. 
um, I need to do a lot of things at home. I need to like wash and wash the dishes and put some stuff in the freezer that I don't want to spoil because I'm going to be gone for a few days. Um, and I just recently went grocery shopping. So I definitely don't want to come back and my fruit and all of that is bad. So yeah, definitely got to do that. Um, uh, I do want to film a fragrance video before I leave but I don't know I feel like I'm kind of pushing it because I still need to like do my hair and stuff um but yeah today is just gonna be a really chill day um my guy that's fixing my car he's coming by today to finish up and my car should be completely finished today so I'm so happy about that because it's been wood let me see when did I get in an accident I think it was like a month ago i want to say it was like a month ago it was like in february right hold on because it was cold outside uh, yeah it was a month ago so yeah he's here to fix that um i did try to fail on her insurance and i probably really like should have done more i only like did like the damage on my car but weeks later that's when i started feeling the pain from the accident so whatever they end up finding me at fault child. so i paid for it cash he only charged me 1200 to fix everything so yeah we getting that fixed and more than likely i'm gonna trade the car in once my um new car comes in more than likely i'm gonna trade it in i was gonna keep it and get another car um but that's not gonna happen because my OCD is bad and I don't already kind of like been in two accidents in this car so it's yeah it's time to get rid of it oh, but don't tell her I said that because you know when you start looking at other cars your car start messing up I just popped a pimple on my lip line I really hope that like that doesn't get like super irritated because I really want to put like some lip gloss on right now but I don't want it to make the pimple get worse anyway i just uploaded a new video you guys go check that out um i did my living room reveal and i'm probably gonna do a test wherever to come because i got a floating shelf to go up under it it came in yesterday so i'm probably gonna hire a test rabbit to come and like put it together and mount it on the wall um yeah and then i also have a new glass display case for my fragrances that i want to go ahead and put together so i'm probably going to do that either today or tomorrow but yeah today is just a chill day i'm probably going to go home i mean go, go downstairs relax watch some more um have and have nots cook me some dinner and just chill in the house today because i edited it, so i really want to like take some time to um respond to comments and stuff like that too so yeah but i just did a wonderful shower routine and that's the little montage that y'all saw at the beginning of the video so i like shades everywhere because we getting ready to go on vacation and i do want to go ahead and get laser hair removal tomorrow um because i i missed my last appointment because it was bad weather and that was what like a month ago so oh child i'm behind i'm behind i'm definitely behind and my hair growth shows that i'm behind because honestly i probably after i'm done with these laser hair treatments i'm probably not gonna do it again because one it was way too expensive and two my hair grew still grows back like yes it's thinner and it's not as thick but it still grows back i'm expecting for two thousand dollars like for it to be like one or two hairs not not us you know what i'm saying and i'm i was still getting hair bumps so i think i'm just gonna go back to waxing after this as painful as waxing is i think i'm gonna go back to waxing it shouldn't be much to wax since i've already started the laser hair removal treatments but yeah i honestly feel like you should do both honestly that's just my opinion, but I feel like you should wax and do laser hair removal. Like you should do your, your, you should shave, do laser hair removal, and then when the hair grow back, wax that hair. I don't know. It's, it's just 
Don't mind me, child. I'm just, I just don't want to have hair. All right, you guys, let's get into this trial haul really quick. Um, I got some pieces from Jerley She. I've worked with them before. You guys know that they are a fast fashion, affordable site where you can get a lot of like designer dupes and affordable items for super, super low cost so i'm going to have everything in the description box all of the links to everything as well as the sizes that i got so if you guys are interested in i will leave a coupon code in the description box in here for you guys so you can get a little money off and a little discount um but yeah these clothes were sent to me to try on and review for the company jelly she so i want to thank them for sponsoring this portion of today's video as well the first item that I'm wearing are these leggings. These are, I don't even know, like they're so abstract. I think the first time I saw these was on I Am Alonzo Arnold. He had like this neon green one and like they really like, if you a shapely person, even if you're not a shapely person, but if you're a shapely person, they really accentuate your body, your butt, like, and they're just like so fashionable they come all the way down to the ankles so they're tall girl friendly or long legged girl friendly um and they just got these little um i don't know what this is called inside but i think that it is just so cute and fun looking i don't know what i would pair this with i mean i think you can do like a crop top or even like i don't know like I'm, I'm gonna have fun with these pants when i finally wear them there's this little thing that's sticking out at the bottom so that's probably gonna get dirty more than likely but yeah they're super super cute and they fit really really good i got mine in a size small thumbs up for this one okay the next item are these pants i don't like these at all i think these are in a medium they're really really tight um the material is not really the best material like they feel good but i thought that they were gonna be a little thicker than this and like right here in this area is super super tight on my butt super super tight in this area too and I almost thought I wasn't going to be able to zip them up because, I mean, unbuckling these, like, wow, I, I definitely can't put my pants in the pockets. I mean, I definitely can't put my hands in the pockets. It's just, they're just way too tight. They don't fit good. Um, and I thought the material was going to be better than this. So, I'm going to give these a thumbs down. Like, I'm not really feeling these at all. All right, the next piece is this one piece nude dicky jumpsuit. It's a full jumpsuit. It's super stretchy, um, but this fits like a glove. What size did I get this in? I think I got it in a small. I tend to get smalls when I get anything from Jersey Sheet because sometimes the smalls can run big. So I definitely got this in a small. I think it fits cute, and I think that this will be cute with like you can like put this on with like some clear heels for like a casual day day or something like that or even pair it with some tennis shoes i think it'll be really cute with like some tennis shoes as well as you can see there is no slack in the back like i said it fits like a glove it's no slack at all it fits perfect so i'm gonna give this one a thumbs up Okay, so the next outfit is this two-piece set that I got. This is like a spandex type of satin type of kind of material. It fits really good. I got this in a small. Honestly, I feel like I could have got an extra small in this, but it fits good. No complaints. It's, it's good quality. It's good quality. Um, you can dress this up. I would not dress this up. I would dress this down because y'all know I like me, me some two-piece active wear sets. So I will put this on with like some Jordans. 
and wear it like that rock it like that i wouldn't try to like be like super jazzy in this outfit this outfit doesn't give me jazzy it gives me comfortable lounge something cute to put on when you're getting ready to have company you want to give a little body but at the same time be fully covered so i'm gonna give this a thumbs up yeah we're gonna say that these are capris I can't turn around because I ain't putting on. These are really, really cute. So underneath, I would definitely wear a bodysuit um, because it's completely sheer um, and pair it with a cute blazer. So I have a few different blazers that I could pair this with, but this is these are super, super cute and they, they don't fit like super tight on the leg, but they're not like extremely loose. They're really cute capri type of leggings and they look like really good quality I, I would not say that these came from jerry she if i saw them on someone like aren't those like look at that aren't those beautiful like that is really really cute okay quick disclaimer this is a bad bitch out So I put this, this monokini underneath because I ain't feel like trying to find like a black bra and black panties. So I just put this monokini underneath this like super high cut. So these are the next two pieces. This, um, this is a full body stocking with the feet, uh, jumpsuit, bodysuit, and then this bomber long, long extra long sleeve crop jacket super super cute this is a bad bitch outfit baby this is a bad bitch outfit this will look cute like i might say this and wear this in the fall want to tone up a little bit more you know what i'm saying but i might say this and wear this in the fall this is cute though this is cute get into it mm -hmm. what was said what where we going? What we talking about? Honey. 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 This is cute. I don't know if I would wear this together. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But this is definitely a bit. This this little jumpsuit part right here. <sighs> BBO. Bad bitches only. It's cute. I got it in a size small and I got the jacket in a medium. I like this. Super cute. Okay, the next piece is this white vest. They had a picture of Young Miami on, and she had like a bronze one on. I thought that it was so cute, so I got it in white because I feel like it would look really cute with these um, leather pants that I got from Zara. These are like my favorite leather pants. I really need to get the bag taken in a little bit because I, I have a little slack, but that's all right. Anyway, this is a nice, cute, like, I think it's like a crop vest. It's a crop vest. You got the side boob. It's very sexy. You can leave it unzipped a little bit or zip it all the way up. I would prefer all the way up. You can dress this up and make it really, really cute and fashionable. Maybe even like a leather beret with it possibly. Maybe it's summertime so it could be too hot. Maybe not. But yeah, I like this. This is real cute. Okay, next piece is this Dior inspired silk blouse. As you can see, it has the Dior logo all over it. Super cute. It's a tie shirt. Um, you can wear this a number of ways. I probably would dress this up, wear it with like some silk trousers wide leg trousers that i just got from zara i think that'll be really cute with it definitely a bra um but yeah this is super super cute i might even like button it all the way up when i wear it too because i don't want it to look slouchy so i liked the white one so much that i also got it in chocolate brown and this one is a three-quarter sleeve so it's pretty much the exact same shirt. It's just in chocolate brown. But so cute. Very, very cute. 
And the last piece that I got, I know you guys have seen this dress on all of the Instagram baddies. I don't know how they got in it. Because I'm not as curvy as a lot of these girls. And I couldn't put this on. What size did I get this in? A medium. I got this in a medium and I could not get it past my thighs. And trying to put it on over my head. Oh, I get dizzy. Y'all know I don't like trying on clothes. So this probably fits. I don't know. But I could not get it on this way and above over my head I, it, it was just way too tight so yeah in this haul i'll say so far it's two things that i don't like but i will have everything linked in the description box for you guys as well as my size it's also a coupon code for you guys to use so yes definitely go and shop with jealousy they have a lot of amazing items really good quality you do have to sift through and like just Go through everything. Look at their entire inventory. Um, and I'm definitely sure that you guys will find a lot of things that you like. So. It looks so good with the light on. And now that the sun is gone down, you can really see. I'm still deciding whether or not I want to get the art lights to go above since we have the lamps right here. But y'all, I love this. It's just so calming and so peaceful. And then I got this little fake plant from Ikea. The elephant ears. My grandma loved elephant ears. All right, I'm about to make me some I love some lemonade out all night. Still good. All right. Whew. I'm about to make some breakfast, but first I gotta put these dishes in the dishwasher. Like, why didn't I do this last night? Binge watching the haves and have nots. Girl, I'm stuck. Guess what time I woke up? Yes, I'm using my good cutting knife. I'm gonna have to get a, a knife shop. You know? I don't know where my box cutters at, but I bought some more um, kitchen organization stuff from Amazon. And I will link in the description box the stuff from the previous video because I don't think I did that. Okay. First up is this bamboo fruit bowl. So, I've been getting like lots of fruit. So, I got this. Ah, you know what? I, I, I don't know what I did with my box cutters. I think I accidentally threw both of them away. Both of them. That's not good. So, when we go out today to run errands, you gotta get this box cutter. You gotta get another box cutter. Oh, okay, this is good as hell. Okay, so this is what the fruit bowl looks like. Ain't it cute? And I'm just gonna put my fruit and my avocados in here. Pears. Oh, this pear. Oh, God. Okay. So uh, the pears is bad. Wow, and they organic. Those were organic pears from Trader Joe's. They are already bad. I mean, it has been like a week and a half or so, and I didn't. Uh, refrigerate them so whatever um, but yeah I'm just gonna put these avocados in it put my ripe ones at the top see cute also I got a lot of bamboo stuff up here so I got this wood board I guess there's a charcuterie board charcuterie 
charcuterie board I got there from Ikea. It was $40. $40. Yeah. I wasn't happy about that. Then I want to organize my pots and pans in the cabinets. So I got this uh, rack. Expandable cookware rack. So you can like instead of them just because girl up under them cabinets the pots and the pants are kind of everywhere and i hate it so i got this and then this comes in a set it's the organizer bins for the refrigerator and it comes in a set of what is this eight yep they're all the same bin, but I mean, you can put, you know, multiple things in there. So that's for the refrigerator. My refrigerator isn't that big, so I won't be able to house all of them in the refrigerator. But, you know, I can always use them for like under the cabinet or in the pantry and stuff like that. So, and I just clicked on kitchen organization and those popped up and they come in a set. And I think the set was like $25. All right, so now I'm about to make me some breakfast. And whilst I do that, I'm going to watch a little TV, the haves and have nots, because I have been stuck. Ooh, girl, I've been stuck. Talk about stuck. I have been stuck. If I miss an episode, I just go back and rewatch it. Like, I'm not, my ADD kicks in with that too. But if I miss an episode, I literally rewind it and watch it all over again. So. Um, I fell asleep watching it last night, so I got some to uh, catch up on. Um, but I'm about to make me some breakfast um, here. Okay, so I got this brioche French toast from Trader Joe's. I'm going to make me two hash browns, two eggs scrambled with cheese, and I'm going to have two slices of bacon. So this is going to be my breakfast. Sure, every morning that I wake up. Before I put on my makeup, I say a little breath for you. Together forever, that's how we must be, and I will love you. Together forever, that's how it must be, and I will love you. No, but seriously though. I have been making sure every morning that I wake up, regardless of how I'm feeling, regardless of what I have to do. I make myself breakfast and honestly it is it is benefiting me I'm starting to feel so much better I'm having energy I'm having like motivation to do things throughout the day and get things done like putting stuff together like girl I'm just so proud of myself I really am so I tend to kill two birds in one stone and cook things in the same pan because one, this is a non-stick pan, and the less utensils I use, the more motivated I, I am to cook. Like, if I could do everything in one pot, I'm motivated to cook. So, that definitely should help.
Hey y'all, I'm picking up my packages. It's the fact that I took a three hour nap after breakfast though. Like I literally just laid down on the couch thinking I was gonna like take me a little quick little snooze. Oh girl, what you know when you got that crate and barrel? I need to go back crate and barrel. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. What was I saying? Oh. I laid down and thought I was going to take me like a quick little nap. Baby, I took a whole three hour nap right there on my couch, enjoying myself. Do you hear me? Tossing and turning a little bit. I don't know why it gets so cold on the second floor. Like, I need a bigger blanket. They have those in Crate and Barrel, right? I'm pretty sure I can find me a nice beige blanket to match my uh living room decor. So I'm here at my shipping warehouse picking up my packages. Cause I gotta um I gotta do a try on haul. And the clothes are in this warehouse. And they've been asking me about it. So I need to go ahead and pick them up and go back to the house, do a try on haul, film that um it's gonna be in this video so when I edit this video I'll be editing the trial haul and I'm gonna send it to them tonight so they can go ahead and uh, review it but yeah um, it's a jewelry sheet and it's some, I think it's some outfits in there that I got I can't even remember what I ordered child, but I know it's some outfits in there that I could take on my trips with me but yeah I was gonna go straight home, but now I think I might pop over to Crate and Barrel real quick and see, see what I see, see what I need. But um, yeah, that that nap that I took was amazing. Oh, sure, I it 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 almost felt like somebody was standing on my back, cause I could not get up. Like I wanted to get up, but I just could not. It was that mimosa child. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to try those mimosas in a can. So I ended up having to get the bottle because they was out of the cans at World Market. I do, I do suggest. Huh? Oh, on a moment. put lip gloss on here go my hair getting caught y'all it's a little cold outside it's 61 degrees <clears throat> it's a little chilly as soon as i put my lip gloss on here go my hair getting caught in my lip gloss that is so annoying to me but what was i saying um i don't know let's go to crate and barrel we ain't got shit else to do actually we do you, you really do Oh, and my car got fixed. It's done, you guys. I'm gonna show it to you when we pull up to Crate and Barrel. I'm gonna show it to you. He fixed it. It's done. It's it looks good. It looks great. Okay, so this is what the car looking like. It's a little dirty, but you see, he fixed my mirror and he did all of my rooms, all of them. Look how shiny they are. He did all of them. Period. Okay. So it looks so much better. I love this piece of art. It's so simple. Like I could just buy a really big canvas and do something like this myself and frame it. I'm gonna frame my TV. This one too. Mm -hmm. This one would be like very yeah, nice for the entryway. Uh, but Lotus has been around for a long time. It's uh, made by Shannon Okay. Um, and then the Oceanside. This mirror. It's nice. 
this really pretty. 30, baby, won't you meet me by the beach? Early, baby, later, you can show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy city, you only can see it soon. 30 degrees, way too close, so hold me down. Well, I see you at the show tonight. Well, I see you at the show tonight. Hey. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suite on the plaza, elevator up to the room, shower up, and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's My up. My name's Peyton. Uh, we had inclement weather um, about a month ago, and I had an appointment, but it was it was canceled because of the snow. And I never got uh, another appointment, so it's for my um, my treatment for my laser, the underarms, bikini, all of that. Um, we could do a, an appointment tonight for Brazilian and underarms. Okay. Let me see what all you have. Peyton, there you go. All right. Yeah, we can do all your treatments tonight. Let me tell you the time one second. I think it's a later appointment. It would be. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye, Annette. It is for 7.15 if you can do that. Yeah, 7.15 is good. Perfect. All right. All we right. will see you then. All right. Thanks, babe. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey, sir. Remind me I have a laser appointment at 7.15. Okay. Add it to today's reminders. What else do I need to do? I end up just getting a throw, a beige throw for the couch and a bottle of like the little oil, the oil bottle that you put the oil your oil in because I bought some um, more oil. I bought some avocado oil and then I bought some olive oil that's infused with garlic. So I want them to be in different bottles. So because I feel like I'm going to like the olive oil a lot with my like stir fries and fried rice and stuff like that. Oh, they do Pilates right there. I need to go to the Because a lot of people have been saying Pilates will help my back. I just can't pretend, sing too much. It's so hard for me to let new people in. Valentine, show the head game legendary. Paid a million not to get your wrist game legendary. Got some shit for you to come again. I'm at the same age as some of my own. See me when you do your shit. Woo! I see you doing well, baby. Oh, you put the shit together, I can tell, baby. Southwestern chopped salad. It comes with avocado dressing, and I'm gonna put the chicken salad on top of it. And I'm gonna add some extra cheese. And everything is from Trader Joe's. I'm actually finding that I really like Trader Joe's. And I love this chopped salad. Like, love, love, love. I like all chopped salads. Kroger's, I want to say it's Kroger's. Kroger's has a buffalo ranch one. And I put the buffalo tuna uh, creation on top of it. Oh my God. 
Baby, you talking about good? It's so good. Y'all gotta try it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna order it because it's not Trader Joe's, so I'm gonna. I gotta like do an Instacart and order it, but I'm gonna order it and show you guys how I make it and y'all gotta try it because it's, it's so good. But yeah, I have been um, loving, I've been eating a salad every day. And I've been loving putting my like chicken salad or tuna fish on top of it, like as my protein. Mmm, this smells good. Oh God. And this is going to be my lunch. And I'm just going to eat this. And then we're going to head over to Laser Away and get our laser hair removal. Cause we are overdue girl but i already shaved and everything yesterday like i shaved everywhere so i'm ready and this is what it looks like and i love it so much it's kind of like that garbage salad from nick and sam's if you've ever been to nick and sam's and had their garbage salad this is basically what it is so so as soon as the salad start getting good, I look at the clock, it's 6.49, I gotta go. So I ain't even really finished eating my salad, but that's okay because I'm coming straight back to the house. I'm gonna eat my salad. I'm gonna go ahead and put the curtains up in the office because I actually did get the glider hooks in. And um, then we gonna do that uh, try on for Jerly She go ahead and edit that and film that and send that to them so they can go ahead and approve it and then like I'm just gonna chill for a little while cuz I need to pack and um watch the haves and have nights y'all I'm stuck I'm stuck you think I ain't gonna watch it while I'm on this trip on vacation I am so I hope they have Hulu on the TV cuz I am like long black tresses with you know wavy hair I think I wore this hair um, last year when we went to Tulum I haven't worn it in a while so I'm just gonna wash it condition it really good because it's super tangly um, and then blow dry it um, and put some crimps in it and that's gonna be my style on the trip. This is how I'm wearing my hair on this trip. But 
first we gotta comb out these dang on tangles like it is so tangly but this is some good hair because i've had it for a year i've had it for over a year it's just the last time i wore it i wore it like every day um and it got matted up really bad in the back so now it's like now i gotta comb out these tangles. let me get a brush you can never go wrong with this brush. This is one of them hard brushes that the dudes be using. I'll be like, y'all need to stop using this. How you go bald? This the bristles on this brush are way too hard for someone's scalp. But a wig, this gonna get the this gonna get the tangles out. It's gonna pull some hair out too, but that's fine. 